and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Timon, and, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So the Lord is going to have that power on us, but we're going to be getting that. Yep. He's just going to be sitting back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Go have that. And they shall do in Edom according to mine I anger yep. and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. You're going to know the Lord, bitch. Because this certain thing we probably we going to be doing that we not going to even think that we can do. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, Lord. Yeah, how shot said that? You shall do great. Yep. Yep. Here in Revelation 16, 16. This is uh, Revelation chapter 16, verse 6. 17, yeah. 6. Uh, for they have shed the blood of, of saints and prophets. Y'all shed the blood of the saints and the prophets, man. They and one the same thing. And thou hast given them blood to drink. Y'all gave us blood to drink, man. Y'all messed us up. Y'all tore us up, man. With no, with no remorse. Go ahead. For they are worthy. Mm -hmm. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, True and righteous mm -hmm. are thy judgments. True and right, righteous are y'all judge, judgments. So we deserve everything we got. Right. Okay. Y'all gonna deserve everything you get. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a balance, man. You know, it's all about balance. We don't know the Lord's thoughts. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. So what we going through, how you gonna get mad at the Lord? Huh? You know? You can't get mad at him. What you got? Seriously. Now, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, and verse 6. And it reads, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of, of Yahweh Shah. And when I saw her, I wondered a great uh, admiration. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. He saw, he saw that the blood of the saints. Mm -hmm. He saw it being killed. Okay? He saw it, man. Uh, John. John Revelation. I thought they were shooting, boy. I seen your feet, too. I seen your foot. Boy, you saw that on a quick foot? I was going to go straight up. That's a good man. I saw the Hey, what? You can't be doing it, Jake. 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 You can't be doing it, You know I ran it. You know I ran it. You know I ran it 220 yards. You remember that, right? Yeah, we 
we're gonna be like Goku around here. We're gonna be like, we're gonna be like Wolverine. We're gonna be like, like uh, all the X Men. See, yep, Green Lantern, Flash. We're gonna be like all of such, all of done. We're gonna be drilled with the kingdom, man. How the water tastes, pure water, pure wine. Got an air gonna smell. See, we're gonna, we're gonna be. Be thrilled with that, man. Uh, yep. How you can just smell a plant, like dirt out of the soil, without it being contaminated. It's soil contaminated. You gonna be able to smell fresh dirt. You know? Real, man. Beautiful, man. Did you drop, did you drop all this shit? Probably gonna drop it. Go ahead. Here is the abundance of the sea should be converted uh, unto, unto thee. The so force all the merchants of the gonna bring. You see how in Revelations 18 for the destruction, uh -huh. we talk about how the merchants are gonna be bringing stuff over here. Uh -huh. They gonna see from afar off of Babylon is falling. Mm -hmm. They gonna be crying, but guess what? They gonna turn right around and bring it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they gonna turn around and bring all the goods to us. And the earth ain't, uh, ain't bringing forth is, is all its life to Esau because the earth is given to the ends of the week. Right. You know? There is the abundance of the sea should be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles. Yep. So all the wealth of the other countries, they gonna come to us, man. Yep. You see, that's what this chapter is telling you. How it's gonna come. Come ahead, read. There is Verse six: The multitude of the camels shall uh, of the camels shall cover thee. Oh, multitude of the camels. So guess what? Ain't gonna be no cars no more. Yeah. So we gonna be sitting back. They gonna bring on camel like the old days. Yep. You gonna see a you gonna see a caravan of camels coming up with all the stuff on the camel. Yeah, highness, sir. We brought you all the wealth of the Gentiles. Get it down. Taking shit on camels. We gonna be like get to. You just gonna look at it. Hand it over. Hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna have, we're gonna have our little dudes getting it and taking it where yeah. they gotta get it. Hey, like King Solomon. And, uh, uh, when he went into, you know, his his daily um, daily portions, you know, for his household. He was getting to the household. And it was like hundreds and hundreds of the finest bulls being slaughtered every day. Yeah, every day. fresh for his whole household. Yeah. Because, you know, not only are we going to have abundance of, of, of resources, but we're going to be putting those resources to use. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to be popping women, having children. Mm -hmm. You know, all those resources are going to be for our kids, yeah. for our giant family. <laughs> <laughs> you got to mention that, huh? Take that yeah. goat out of your mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. So that goat out of your mama. Take it to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
shall be gathered together on Tuesdays. Go back up, so I'm coming back to uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 60 and verse 6. It says, The multitude of the camel shall cover thee, the uh, dromedaries of, uh, of Madian, and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Verse 7. All the flocks of Kedar, flocks of Kedar, okay, now it goes in the dark, but it says who? Son of Ishmael. Sons of who? Ishmael. See? Descendants or representatives. Bedouins as descendants or representatives. So they're going to be bringing them. Bedouins. Uh, I remember uh, when I was in Kuwait, I used to hang with the boys over there. I think they were Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But when they go out, they do their Ramadan, they have to set them tents up. And you had to the dudes they called Bellowins used to live out there. They were like the representatives of them. If somebody come out there, they would step up and be like, may I help you, sir? Who you looking for? They would speak for the, the brothers who wasn't there. So they said they gonna bring the flocks of Qadar. They gonna bring the flocks. They gonna bring all the sheep, the goats. From from there, they gonna bring them. Bellowins gonna bring them to us, man. Go, go, see, go ahead. And it reads, it uh, should be gathered together to be the rams of, what is this, Nia, uh, rams of Nia, Nia Bach, get that one. Nia Bach, uh, Nia, 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 Uh, 